Hello everybody, this is Kira with My Porch Prints Tutorials. Um, today we are going to be continuing our series of decorating our uh, Christmas daily journals. And if you haven't already seen our cover video and our peppermint pages video, you can go ahead and find links for that down below. Um, but today we're going to go ahead and do the uh, out my window um, part of the journal today. And for that, I'm going to be making a little window that opens up so you can see the picture behind it. And so we're going to go ahead and open our journal and flip to that uh, page. And for this, you're going to be using um, only a few of our kits and also some brown craft paper to make the window frame. So to get started, I'm going to take this picture I have from outside of our home and I'm just going to be tracing around it. I'm going to go ahead and draw a about a quarter inch uh, frame around the outside of it. And I'm also going to go ahead and create sort of a cross section in the middle to make it look more like a window frame. And then just cut around the perimeter and then uh, using an exacto knife I'm going to cut out each of the window squares and first I'm going to go ahead and fix this middle piece because it's a little crooked all right and now we're going to cut out those panels <laughs> Right, when you've popped out all of those little pieces, this is what it will look like. And I made my uh, sort of like center frame pieces a little too small. I would make those a little bit wider because we're going to be cutting these windows in half so that they will open. And you want that center sort of frame piece to be a little bit thicker for that. And then taking some of our scrap, I'm going to cut out two small pieces to make the hinges. And I'm going to actually end up cutting these in half again later because I decided I wanted four hinges instead of just two. And right here, I'm going to cut the window in half for it to open. You'll kind of see what I meant when I said to make it a little bit uh, thicker in the center because it's just so thin that when we add these brads to make the handles um, it's hard to hide the backs of the brads unless that part is thick enough and it's also so delicate that when you cut it out with like this micro hole punch um, you have to be very careful so that you don't tear it and then just go ahead and punch those brads through bending the backs down and making little handles for the window. Just like that. And because this one's too thin, you kind of can see it, but as long as you make yours a little bit thicker, you shouldn't have that problem. And then taking our hinges, we're going to fold them in half uh, front and back so that they sort of swing freely. And again, I'm cutting those in half to make them a little bit smaller so, so that I have four instead of two. And I'm going to take a little bit of glue on one half of the hinge and glue it to the top half of the window, like so. And then I'll do that again with another piece to the bottom half and do that for both sides. All right, and then uh, taking a little bit of tape, we're gonna go ahead and um, tape our picture down to the paper and I'm doing mine sort of towards like the top center and then we're going to glue our doors down on either side 
double checking everything fits and then adding glue to the other half of the hinge it's very important to put it on the outside half of the hinge if you do it all over the hinge uh, the window will be stuck to the paper and will not swing open and then go ahead and let that dry for a while next we're going to make the curtains and for that i'm using this uh, chiffon ribbon just this sort of delicate sheer ribbon that we had with the distressed edges and I'm going to go ahead and cut sort of a triangle shape out of the inner edge of each of the uh, curtains to kind of make them look a little bit more like they've um, been tied back just like this and we're going to go ahead and do that to both sides like this and then taking a thin piece of sort of light blue ribbon that I had I'm going to be uh, gluing it right along this sort of like cinched part of the curtain to sort of finish up the illusion of it being tied back and then adding a bit of glue to the top of our window frame just going to glue those curtains down and then when I was looking at the window I decided I wanted to give it a full frame so this is something you would want to do probably before you glued uh, your windows down uh, just so you could sort of chase uh, trace around the picture and make sure you're getting like the right measurements I had to kind of trial and error until I got it to fit right um, so if you want to save yourself that trouble, make sure that you give it a frame before you glue the windows down. But once you've got that situated, go ahead, just add a little glue and put it over the picture like so. And there you go. That should complete the illusion of a window. And to finish off the page, I'm just going to keep it real simple here, adding a couple of ephemera pieces. So um, I ended up not really liking the way the stocking looked on the page, so I'm just going to cut out the number that I wanted. So this is day two for me, and I'm going to add it to this uh, blank snowflake that came with the journal kit. And then distress the edges a little bit. And again, your pages might not be in the same order as mine, so just do whichever number makes sense for you. And then taking a small piece of ephemera and gluing it again to a scrap of that brown paper, I'm just going to tape it onto the page. And add the snowflake to the top with another little ephemera snowflake piece next to it. And there you go, that is the finished page for Out My Window. I hope you got some inspiration and enjoyed this video, and we will see you in the next page decorating uh, tutorial. See you next time. Bye!